So Node.js 18 is now available. Node.js has been working hard on increasing features, competing with Dino as well in a way, and that has led to Node actually introducing a lot of interesting things. And Node.js 18 is no short of that. So let's just take a look at this blog, this announcement blog available and see what's all new in Node.js. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. Starting off with Fetch, which we discussed a bit in the past as well, that there's a huge change coming to Node.js. That is Fetch is now available globally by default. Now, this was a very very long time coming feature as in you know everyone who uses javascript on the front end knows how to perform http requests that is the fetch function call that's the way to go but there was no direct way to do that in node.js yet you had to install packages like node fetch or undicy and uh, that was a little bit inconvenient inconvenient because specifically because node fetch from version 3 had a little bit of that conflict with the ESM versus common JS module imports, so that should not be a problem anymore. You can now see that Node has now introduced a fetch API, an experimental release. Still, they mention it experimental, probably because this is still not 100% feature complete or test complete with the web version of the fetch. But for the most part, for most people, this should be more than enough. So fetch is here in Node.js working directly without anything. Interestingly, we also have Web Streams API, which is a set of stream APIs on Node.js. Now this means that these streams, I mean stream support obviously has been there for the longest time with Node.js, but Web Streams API is a project, is a initiative which aims to combine the streams in the Node.js world with the browsers. So you can see that things like Fetch, for example, already works with readable streams and so on, but that was not exactly comfortably available with Node.js world just yet. But that should now be available with the Web Streams API. We have a bunch of more global APIs available now. The Blob is one of those APIs and Broadcast Channel is another one. Not sure exactly what Broadcast Channel would be, but nonetheless, these two APIs are now available as well they are no longer experimental so that means they don't no longer need a flag to run the interesting thing about this release is also this test runner module so node is now tapping into the territory of you know a little bit of dino i feel where it's trying to do a bunch of things again starting from test runner module so now you can technically write unit test or integration tests with node.js and the funny thing you see over here is that this uses a node and a colon and we have discussed about this in a video titled i think node.js is working on a new protocol or something where you are now importing a inbuilt module of node right a core module of node and moving forward node would do this pretty much with everything so there is no collision with the with the npm packages published for example so technically you should be able to do import test from you know single quotes test but it is possible that there is an npm package out there which is named test and so on so moving forward node has declared its own namespace that hey whenever we start with node and colon that is all us that will only be importing core modules and not npm not node modules nothing like that but this thing is interesting because this over here you can see allows us to use basic unit testing and integration testing within node.js without any runners like jest or white test or anything like that you can also see that v8 has been upgraded in node.js 18 and v8 is the engine which powers the javascript which is part of chromium 101 so again this is all latest tech so you would have all the features all the new features of javascript available automatically in this node.js version itself and finally it says that Node.js 12 will get end of life in April 2022. So it's probably a good idea to shift to another LTS, which is long term supported version release of Node. So it could be 14, 16 or 18. I mean, if you have not paid attention, the even versions are LTS, which are long term supported. And the odd versions are usually experimental, right? So Node's 13, 15, 17, these will not be supported for a very long time. But yeah, interesting to see that Node is working relentlessly hard on improving its runtime introducing more apis and it's only gonna get fun as these runtimes compete with each other for better developer experience usability and features node dino and so on that is all for this video if you like this make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for further updates i'm gonna see you in the next one
really soon. If you're still watching this video, make sure you comment down in the comment section. I watched this video till the end. Also, if you're not part of CodeDamp's Discord community, you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code. You already know the drill. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching.